Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, aka Mike Daddy, aka Magnificent Mikey. And today, let's cover the uh, Fortnite Creative version 23.50 update. The Fortnite version 23.50 update has changes to the hiding prop gallery and pop up dialogue device, plus updates to the loot controller and maps settings device on Battle Royale Islands. Version 23.50 also, also adds the shifty shafts, prefabs, and galleries, and additional assets in several other galleries, along with bug fixes for prefabs, galleries, devices, and more. Hiding props update, hidden travel. Hiding props giving, wait, hiding props give players a place to hide but now players can also travel from one hiding prop to another. Any hiding prop can be assigned to a group using the hidden travel group option. You can set other hiding props to send players to another group of hiding props using the hidden travel target group option. If you've been, well, if you've enabled the hidden, tra hidden travel option on a prop, a player who hides inside it will travel to the target hiding prop and jump out. If you have the prop set to random selection, you can also set it to avoid repeats whenever possible. Keep in mind that when a hiding prop is enabled, it will be invulnerable if it is set up for hidden travel. For information, see the hiding prop gallery page in our official documentation. Pop-up dialogue update, rich text editor. With the pop-up dialogue device, you can now use a rich text editor when typing the dialogue text. This gives you options for styling the text in different ways. Click the edit text button next to the description option to open the editor in a new full screen interface. For more details, see the updated pop-up dialogue devices page in our documentation. For other updates, uh, they have new Shifty Shafts prefabs, new Shifty Shafts galleries. Uh, they have uh, new stuff for the Sanctuary Mi uh, Monument Gallery, Door Gallery, Pirate Ship Gallery, Chapter 4 Nature Gallery, and Cloud Prop Gallery. Those all have had items added to it. Um, there's a bunch of device updates. Uh, there's the Battle Royale Island Loot Controller, Battle Royale Island, uh, yeah, it has <laughs> new, it has new options. Uh, the Battle Royale Island Map Settings device, uh, and the Accolade device is now available in the Battle Royale Islands. And then they have a long list of uh, a bunch of bug fixes, gameplay fixes, device fixes, uh, and whatnot. So we're not going to read over all of those, but uh, just know that they're fixing a lot of things in creative. Uh, so there you go. That's your creative update. Uh, let's go ahead and we can take a look at some of the LTMs and look at what people are creating over there in creative. Uh, let's see. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, now, now I got it pulled up. All right. Uh, let's see. Murder Mystery Power. Uh, that's in the Find It find it in Fortnite section. Don't forget to be doing those challenges. Super Mega Ramp Flakes Power. Winter Madness. Prop Hunt Universe. Boneyard Random Loadout Free For All. Escape Room. Wait, escape from prison, lucky blocks free for all, uh, gun swap ascension, and there's a whole lot more to be discovered in the discover tab. Let's look at these LTMs. Uh, these cipher ones, uh, upgrade vehicles with off-road tires or cow catchers. I mean, if you land at gas stations, you're usually going to find vehicles, and seems like you're more likely to find. Uh, those off-road tires or cow catchers in those areas as well from my experience. You have to do that three times. 
hit opponents with ranged weapons some from 75 meters or more team rumble is the way to go with that because you'll get plenty of chances and even if you get eliminated you'll still respawn with the weapon that you need uh, and still have an entire team rumble match to get it done you got to do that five times all right let's head on over to that item shop and see what we have in the item shop today okay here we go the uh fncs uh you know championship jonesy items that's still here cause legend of the light and dark flakes power captain america and bright star axion sentinel all that is still here and then we have the astro assassin outfit with cryo hops back bling for 1500 the high rise assault trooper outfit for 800 the tactical spade harvesting tool for 500 half tone hero wrap for 300 the jug band emote for 500 the ribbon dancer emote for 500 the snow clan bundle has snowfoot outfit Snow Star Back Bling, Snow Strike Outfit, Snow Brand Back Bling, Inverted Blade Harvesting Tool, and Snow Blades Glider for 2,300. That's 2,000 off the total. Snowfoot Outfit with Snow Star Back Bling itself is 1,500. Snow Strike Outfit with Snow Brand Back Bling is 1,500. Inverted Blade Harvesting Tool is 500. Snow Blades Glider is 800. Uh, we have the Oppressor Outfit with Exo Spine Back Bling for 2,000. Plasmatic Edge Harvesting Tool for 800. Angled Fire Wrap for 500. The Spire Immortal Outfit with Spire's Touch Backlink for 1,500. Spire Shard Harvesting Tool for 1,200. Uh, let's see here. We have the Crystal Outfit for 800. Bronto Outfit with Bronto Bag Backlink for 1,200. Pterodactyl Glider for 1,200. The Bite Mark Harvesting Tool for 1,200. Or you can get all of those items together in the Dino Guard bundle for 2,600, which is 1,800 off the total. Uh, we have the new Sour Scorch Wrap for 500. Uh, and it, it definitely, the colors of this, you know, it's like a neon green, pink, purple. Definitely reminds me of, you know, because it's called Sour Scorch. So it definitely reminds me of a sour candy with the way they have it colored you know like i imagine you know when i see all these colors i definitely imagine warheads being these colors when you uh, get those uh warheads candies anyways hey yeah that sour scorch wrap is 500 the ice queen outfit with ice spikes back bling and uh the ice queen quest for those uh, additional styles is 2000 ice springer or the yeah the ice springer uh, harvesting tool is 800 dead fire outfit with shackled stone back bling is 2000 the dark shard harvesting tool is 1200 uh, we have uh, the creed bundle adonis creed outfit every punch i've ever thrown has been my own so here we go this is what we talked about the other day uh, Adonis Creed is officially in the game. Let's look at the styles. Uh, there's a bionic uh, with robe on or robe off. You can have the gloves on or gloves off. Uh, and both the robe and gloves off at the same time. Uh, you can do the uh, default colors or main event. Uh, you got... Uh, let's see here. Bionic Creed can have off, packed punch blue, or, uh, orange. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the, the glow of the arms. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There you go. Uh, we also have the heavy bag back bling. Adonis's, Adonis Creed athletics training equipment on the go. The knockout pick harvesting tool, knock them down for the count, and the target training emote, keep your eyes on the mitts. This is for 2,000 V bucks in total. That's 900 off of the total. Separately, 
Adonis Creed outfit with the heavy bag back bling is 1,800. The knockout pick harvesting tool is 800. The target training emo is 300. And that looks like everything today. You can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. And today for the item of the day, I'm definitely going with the Creed bundle. I really like the look. Uh, I like the bionic style. I like that you can really customize this thing with all the different combinations that you can put uh, together. I mean, yeah, that it's uh, pretty cool. So uh, I'm definitely a fan of this one. And, you know, I've always been a fan of the Rocky series and now the Creed series anyway. So, yeah, big, big fan of this one. Uh... Yeah, that's going to be the episode. So make sure you go join the daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm. <laughs>